Hello everybody and welcome back to another indie game devlog on my game made in Unity. It's a little bit different this time. And before I even get into it, let's get all this other stuff out of the way. If you haven't seen this game before, it's a game where you can't attack the enemies and you have to dodge them to survive each stage, waiting out the timers under the enemies until they self-destruct. You'll see as you watch the gameplay. I think it's pretty easy to understand game. And Watch the whole video to support the channel the most because audience retention and that stuff kind of helps out the channel. And also, one more thing, keep notifications on because as you can see by my channel, my video schedule is pretty inconsistent. Anyway, let's get on to it. Today I want to show you a new feature for my game and it's kind of hard to understand but I'm going to try and walk you guys through it. So it's called the split bar, right? And to understand it, you'll have to know a few things. First of all, in this game, hearts drop from the enemies once they self-destruct. And each time you go to a new stage, or new level, or whatever, however you want to say it, the camera moves upwards. So naturally, like, if an enemy self-destructs, and it was the last enemy of a stage, a heart's there, and then you press the continue button, the stage moves up, and the heart goes down, because it's staying in one spot. So now that you understand that, hopefully it's a bit more easy to understand. Or it will be a, hopefully a bit more easy to understand. Alright, so if you press B on the keyboard, you could turn the split bar on or off. So the purpose is, is to show you whether or not the heart will be destroyed upon going to a new stage. Because if it goes past the camera, it gets destroyed. So pretty much if it goes past the line, it will be destroyed. If it's above the line, it won't be destroyed. This is actually a tip in the game, by the way, is to lead the enemies further up before they self-destruct because if a heart drops and you can't pick it up you have, because you have full health, you could bring it over to the next stage. Hopefully you're starting to understand it now. This feature kind of helps you be able to tell easier if the heart will be destroyed upon the next stage. That's the whole point. Something else that I've added in this most recent update is the fact that the hearts have new effects, but before I get into that, if you like this video, please like the video. And if you like the channel, subscribe to the channel. Back into it. So the hearts have two new particle effects. And particles are just... I, I don't know how to describe particles. Hopefully you understand. So if the heart hasn't passed the bar, that means it won't be destroyed, right? So it emits green particles. So I guess... They're kind of the same color as the player, so it's kind of associated with good, right? And they go upward, or forward, if that's the perspective you see the game in, since it's kind of like a top-down game. Or maybe it's not a top-down game. Who knows? Yeah, it, it is a top-down game. But you can see it in two different ways. Like, you can see as, like, the player's going up, or the player's going forward. It's kind of weird. But, yeah, so... If, it emits, if the heart emits green particles, that means that it's not going to be destroyed, right, upon going to the next stage. And if it is going to be destroyed and it goes, it, it is past this bar, that means it will emit red particles that are going down. That's about it for this devlog. I just had like a whole video just dedicated to the specific feature that only kind of works with this game, so I thought it deserved its own video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and... Here's me playing Terraria. I don't know how long I'm gonna keep this like habit going of or like ritual. That makes it sound kind of weird. What? Oh, tradition. That's a better word for it. Yeah, I don't know how long I'm gonna go with this, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.